Okay, so finally I'm reacting to your setups and I'm very excited. I plan to make this video for celebrating 10k subs, but at the moment we're actually at 12k and that's just amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for the support. There's currently 50 viewer submissions, um, which I can't possibly cover in one video. So what I've done is I've randomly generated numbers. So today we'll do 10 random setups. If you like this video after watching it, please let me know. We could turn this into a series. I think that'd be a lot of fun. But before I look at your setups, I do want to show you my new desk from FlexiSpot. This is FlexiSpot's new E7 Pro standing desk. Now, I love my old desk, but it was simply too small, especially now that I'm spending most of my spare time on YouTube. My new FlexiSpot desk is both wider, but also deeper. Of course, the desk comes in various sizes and configurations, but I went for the 140 times 80 centimeters. The extra depth is awesome, as I can now fit all of my stuff, especially when I'm doing uni work, where I flood my desk with books and papers. The desktop is mounted to these heavy duty legs, making it very stable. I can raise it up to 50 inches, which is nice, because I'm a tall fella. The keypad is sleek with touch buttons, I can program different presets, and it even has a USB-C port for charging. Pretty cool. Under the desk, there's a spacious cable tray for that clean cable management. The desk supports up to 180 kilos, that's two foci's for measure. So, if you want a foci approved desk, check out the link in the description. Okay. Now let's get back to your setups. Okay, first up we have ABD who's running Arch and in the notes they wrote not a bomb. Let's see. All right, we got the ThinkPad Arch combo. Nice. It looks like the keyboard bulges up a little. <laughs> oh my God, is that the battery? I get now why well, they wrote that it's not a bomb, because it definitely looks like one. Right, okay, strong start. Let's move on. Next up is Sec Duck. Wow, this is a battle station. Um, there's a lot going on here. We got all the computers down here and the laptop up there. Seems that you're running Pop OS and you wrote something about Proxmox, which I honestly don't know what is yet at least. It's also a very nice filming setup. I really want a more permanent setup for filming instead of moving all of my stuff into the living room every time. So what do you do SecDuck? I assume that you work from home. Oh, I actually have the same Audio Technica headphones. They're nice but they do hurt a lot after like 30 minutes of use. Let's check the other photo. My god, that is one crazy server rack. Very cool. I know this is random, but it kind of looks like the fridge you get beverages from at my local pizzeria. Thank you, SecDuck, for sharing. That's just a crazy setup. Next up is Artemis. Great name. Definitely one of my favorite Greek goddesses. The note says, don't mention the wall, please. <laughs> you know, that's like saying, don't think of a pink elephant, right? Anyway, let's have a look. Well, you did cover up the wall pretty nicely by all of those cables. I do like the custom build. I'm all about not specking it out with RGB lights. Ah, this is really cozy. Those tortillas look delicious. You even got the tactical wipes for greasy fingers. Right? That's a cool looking Game Boy thing. Thanks for sharing, Artemis. Okay, next up is Kaya. That's a beautiful name. And we have a lot of images here. Oh wow, this is clean. So we got the classic Alex drawers and a light desktop. I like the implementation of the little armrest. That's quite smart. And the computer is hidden behind that vertical monitor. Cool. Right, so you're running the Tahoe wallpaper and dash to dock for that macOS feel. Love to see it. What does that say? You are not a burden. <laughs> That's a good affirmation. And here's the media setup. All in all, a very nice setup, Kaya. Thanks for sharing. Okay, Lil Gyrus. Let's see it. Oh, cool. This is very retro wave. I mean, I could never have a lighting setup as this, but it does look very cool, I must say. And you wrote, rate my wallpaper. 
That's pretty hard. It reminds me of that Instagram page. I'll put it up here. The T420 syncs to my main PC via sync thing over the home server. I use the T420 for uni stuff. Nice. The upper right monitor mirrors to my TV. Cool. Here's your little beast of a gaming PC. It has a nice CPU and GPU and 32 gigabytes of dead awaited WAM. WAM. This Dell Optiplex 5050 was found in a dumpster by my dad. He gave it to me and since then I'm using it for my home server setup. Running Proxmox with containers for a Minecraft server, a Terraria server, Pi-hole, SyncThing and Jellyfin. That's so cool. It's the kind of server project that I want to do this year. Thanks for sharing little Jairus. Next up is Fusion809. Great to see you here. I always appreciate your chill vibe in the Discord. Um, so it's a Hyperland NixOS setup. Very cool. I like all of the things in the top panel. I have to try Hyperland soon. Thanks for sharing. Drive Ross. Drive Ross. I'm very sorry for potentially butchering that. You wrote, I try to go as wirelessly as possible. Yeah, that's pretty minimal. I actually like this setup a lot. I also really love the John Martin poster. He's definitely my favorite 18th century painter. I like the felt mat too. It's just very cozy in there. But I have to ask, what's the deal with these monitor lights? I mean, don't they just reflect off the screen? Or am I stupid? Let me know in the comments. Next up is Fluffy Fluff... Fluffy Fuffy... Oh my god. Next up is Fluffy Fuffy Casey. Cute name. And they're running Mango WC, which I've never heard of. Oh, cool, it's a video. Okay, thanks. Fluffy Puffy Casey, that was a really cool setup and showcasing it in a video. Right, next we got Shark and it's the dual desk setup. Nice, we got a trash can Mac who Shark says they got because it looks cool. I actually agree. And they're using it for Minecraft and Plex server. Nice, so many server projects here. I'm really looking forward to doing that myself. Very cool. And then we have the Retina MacBook hooked up to a Thunderbolt display. Cool. It's very clean. I really like the Thunderbolt display, but I do find that it gets very hot. Also, just what a nice view. I mean, I really want to buy a house one day. And then we got the second setup. It's nice and clean as well. I actually have that same Logitech keyboard and I've used it for years. It's decent. Thanks, Shark. Very cool setup. I'm honestly a bit jelly of having a dual desk setup and that nice view from your house, I presume. Nice. All right, next up is Toffee, who writes, I have seven desktops in this setup. Three of them in a... Th three of them are in a 3D pin grid. Three of them are in a 3D pin grid. Oh my God. Three of them are in a 3D pin... Three of them are in a 3D printed server rack running 24 seven. One of them is a sleeper PC to run my racing simulator and my main PC has a new case incoming. I upgraded the GPU, but it was too big to mount normally. The other two are old and used for old tech experiments. I really like the sleeper system. I do want to get my hands on like a beige 90s, 2000s vibe case someday. I'd just love to make a sleeper system like you. If anyone has an old case like that, um, send me a DM in the Discord and maybe we can figure something out. Oh, you got the OG Apple keyboard. Nice. Okay, this is another battle station. You even got the tech mat. Cool. Hopefully one day I'll get a hobby room like this. Consider subscribing to make that dream come true. Anyway, thanks Toffee. Next is Daniel who's doing the Holy Trio, running both macOS, Linux, and Windows. Cool. 
And here's what he writes. I use the 2010 5.1 Apple Mac Pro, which I maxed out this year. It has two Xeon uh, processors, one 28 gigabytes of RAM, a two terabyte NVMe SSD, a Radeon RX 580. I have four operating systems on it, a native macOS Mojave, and through Open Core Legacy Patcher, I installed macOS Monterey, Windows 11, and one Linux partition, distro hubbing between Fedora, Endeavor, and Bassite. Really want to try Endeavor one day. My peripherals are the Keychron K2HE. I may or may not make a video about that keyboard soon. A magic mouse, a Damo Shark M2 for gaming, two 24 inch cinema displays. Oh, I actually thought those were the Thunderbolt displays. I also use cinema displays as my stereo speakers, which are made into a 2.1 left and right. That's very cool. I gotta say, Daniel, I really love this. And I do want to get a Mac Pro someday, either specking it out like you did or building it into a custom PC. So that was 10 of your setups. It was a lot of fun to see them and react to them. And as I mentioned in the beginning, if this is something that you'd like to see more of, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and a special thanks to Justin and Zeus, as well as the other members of the channel. You too can become a member of the channel, if it's financially responsible of you. Right now there are two tiers with different perks, but in addition to these, all members are invited to join a VIP channel in the Discord. And again, thanks to Flexispot for sending the desk. Make sure to check out the link in the description. Okay, bye.